Hi, I'm going to make a short video today in response to a few uh, requests on uh, some of my videos. Um, sometimes, I, well, I use a lot of uh, jigs um, for hand tool work. Um, different ways of clamping things, of holding small pieces, funny shaped pieces, things like that. And uh, these jigs help you in some way if the clamps, if your vice isn't sufficient or dogs or hold fast, if they're not uh, suitable for the job. So one in particular that I use, um, this is a thickness planing sled, a uh, piece of veneer chipboard, nice and flat, and a couple of uh, sides here to keep it rigid, and a fence at the end, and there's a little nail, I don't know if the camera can pick that up, tiny little brad there, that's just to hold the piece from, from shifting around, so you just sort of tap that, it just stops it from moving around. And then these runners here allow the sides of the plane, um, where the blade doesn't come through the mouth, um, to run consistently like that. Um, and originally I made this so that these could be removed and different, different uh, heights or different thicknesses of wood. So you could have half inch, three quarter inch, one inch. These ones happen to be 24 mil. Um, so essentially you put the, uh, the stock in there and you run your sled backwards and forwards, run your plane backwards and forwards. It's sized for either a 62 or a number four, two inch wide um, sole. And you would rotate it and so on. You, and you'd end up with really, really consistently uh, thicknessed, um, similarly thickness stock. So that's the thickness plane sled. Um, for holding curved work or might or you know work on its edge say you're working on an edge something like that i've got this this little thing and again you can clamp it in the vise clamp it between dogs um, a dowel here just sort of allows you to clamp differently different sizes of wood um, and that works really well if you've got a curved piece a dowel or something um, working on a bead got this one here from a book by Jim Tolpin. It's just a piece of wood with a fence that clamps into the vise. Uh, what this allows, this is really good at holding thin stock on its edge. So you put that in there and tap it in with a hammer and that's nice. And now you can work on this with a lot of clearance, maybe using a scratch stock or a beading tool, something like that. Pretty good, works very well. Just make sure when you, if you're making one of these, you want your grain not to be oriented this way. When this pushes in, if it's if it's oriented the other way, it can split the wood. You know, if the grain is running this way, it will split the wood when you tap this in, this wedge. Um, and finally, I've got other ones, but these are the, the somewhat interesting ones, other jigs, but these are the interesting ones, I think. This is a sticking board. I've got some wing nuts here which allow this to be uh, moved to account for different thicknesses of material. So it can slide all the way up to about a quarter of an inch to as wide as three to four inches, like so. What this is um, good for is if for some reason you want to use a plow plane or something like that, and your material doesn't reach the docks, the position of the uh, dog holes on your bench, you can clamp this, have it overhanging the bench, and still be able to work on your material. So it's sort of a bench extension, and it stops it from moving this way. So those are a couple of things um, that make hand tool woodworking uh, easier, and uh, Thanks for looking. Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching.